Hi, I'm going to do a little Corel tips and tricks. I'm using X16, but this will work for any Corel draw. We're going to make a soccer ball. Now you can go off on, the, you know, off on the internet and find a soccer ball and trace it and bit map it and make it look vectorized, but it's almost easier to create one. So we're going to get our polygon tool. We're going to set our sides on six. We're going to hold down the control button and we're going to go, I, I draw everything normally in red. We're going to make this in black. Matter of fact, we can go here and set that. So they should be black from now on. Now to make it easier, there's two ways you can do it. We'll go ahead and put it start in the center of the page. I'm going to make my soccer ball. I've got my ratio locked. I want to make my that's, that shape three inches. It's just going to make it a little easier. Now I'm going to take and control D to make a duplicate. It's setting on 12. I want the duplicate on 15. Then I want another duplicate. I'm just hitting control D. Then I'm going to take one more make a duplicate and instead of figuring out where the numerical value is of it if you click that node right there and it'll actually change from edge to node it'll snap right to it now we're going to fill this one in with black fill that one in with black we are going to grab these three and as long as you don't you know go and then gulp when you're selecting that whole piece only the three that you engulf will be selected we're going to control d to make a duplicate of it we're going to double click on it and we're going to move our rotation and you notice it goes right to the center I guess I didn't group those. So we're going to go and it'll snap to the center. Doesn't look like it's in the center, but it is. Now we're going to rotate this 60 degrees. I didn't make a duplicate of it. Make a duplicate of it. Rotate it 60 degrees. Rotate control D again. So now we've got the interior part of our our ball, our colors. We want to select all these and group them together. Let's put them in the center. They're already in the center. We're going to zoom in here. So I'm going to hit the Z key for zoom. Then I'm going to get my eclipse tool. I'm going to hold down the control button. I want that black also. I should have preset these to black, but then we're going to go down and make it two points like our other part. Hit the P key. It's a little bit big, so we're going to reduce it. Hit P. Reduce it some more. We basically want just to be just on the outside of this part right here. Now you could go along and uh, erase all these lines but this is the easier way let's move our circle out of the way for a minute let's group all these together they already are grouped let's move it out of the way a little bit more let's get our eclipse tool again hit p for center of the page click back on our colors go to effects power clip place inside frame And there you have a soccer ball. Thank you. Hope this helped. Thank you for watching.